hello everyone in this video we are going to see about azure storage blob hope you already saw my video on azure storage if not i request you to watch them in that storage account creation itself we have selected versioning and then soft delete so in this video we are going to see in detail about versioning and then soft delete too there are three types of blob basically block blob append blob and then page blob append blob is for appending the data so you can write the steam data over it you can keep on appending data into it and then page blob is for randomly accessed file block blob is for uploading the file independently and then parallelly in this video we are going to see about block blob only so let's start creating go to portal.azure.com and then in the earlier video we have created a storage account and hope you are already aware of resource group and then subscription so just click on the resource group which i have created in that i am just going for the storage account which i have created in this just scroll down you will find a storage explorer preview so here also you can create a container and then upload your files here but this is a preview one so just scroll down here you will find a separate uh, area for uh, blobs just click on plus signature and then create your container inside the container only you can upload your files so just create one container let me show what are the access level available now click on create so container is created now inside this we can upload our files so before this let me show this file just double click and open here you will find version number one file so this is to explain the versioning concept so go to portal and let's try to upload this let me select the file just click on this and then open so let me show what are the advanced option available under this click on this so here you will find uh, various option where you can select the type of blob and just scroll down you can select the blob size how much size you want to specify and then the access tire hot and cold will be there and then that upload folder where you want to upload basically the folder structure is a flat type so i will explain at the end of the video how the folder structure works in a blob so as of now you have loaded just close this end of the video we will see about folder structure so file is now uploaded so what i am going to do is i am going to change the content of the file now version number 2 now close this let me upload with the same file name i'm just uploading this only the content is changed now it will show like already available just overwrite it and then let's do it for one more time so that three versions will be available this change the version of okay now version number 3 now go here just select the file and then upload so now we have uploaded a uh, file three times so let's see whether all these three versions are met in so as of now in portal we will show only one file because we are overwriting it even though we are overwriting this this version is met in under here so basically it, it is showing two versions version number 1 and 2 and then third one is available outside so which is the main version available right now so inside the version box you will see all older versions so this is version number 2 and click on this this should be version 1 let me download this yeah this is version 1 so now you can restore your versions also just select one version and then click on make current version so this will be made as a current version just provide this now close it now three versions are available that is the version 3 also moved right here 
now download the latest one so this is showing the third version so the file which is available for consumption that is right here should be the version which you have restored which should be the version one so let me download this this is what we made as a current version so let's see what is yeah here we go so version number one became uh, the current version so likewise you can sh switch among the versions so all versions will be maintained under here now close this and now let me show what are the configuration we made earlier so here you can just click on this data protection so here you will find you can uncheck versioning if you don't want it and then here while creating itself we have selected for uh, soft delete so let me show how soft delete works so soft delete basically retains your uh, deleted file so just click on this and then delete click on ok now here so it is deleted successfully now you will find an option like show deleted blobs so just refresh and then just check on this see the deleted file will appear here and then the versions of the deleted file also will be maintained so this is how soft delete works so it will it just work like a recycle bin now let me show how folder structure works in blob just upload on file I'm going to select on file just click on open and then in advanced section scroll down and here just specify the folder you want to create so I'm going to specify 18 April APR okay I have created now just close this the file is available here now let's delete this file in this case even the folder also will get deleted this is how a folder structure works in blob in next video we will see about azure storage file thanks for watching this video and i request you to subscribe my channel